All right, guys, welcome to another video. I'm Chris, and today we are going to talk about payload. I know this is probably going to stir up some controversy. Um, actually, I'm going to tell you at the end of this video, uh, you know, what kind of brought this, make, me making this video out. But anyway, we're going to talk about truck payloads, and uh, we're going to talk about quite a few devices that you can add onto your suspension and how that affects your payload. All right, let's talk about all these different suspension devices that you can put on your truck. We're gonna talk mainly about four of them. The first one we're gonna talk about is the Adelief or helper spring. Basically, these are, you can take apart your U-bolts off your axle and you can add extra leaves and stack them on, which have certain weight ratings and stuff like that. Uh, and you can add them onto your existing ones. And like even like lift kits and stuff like that, you can replace your whole leaf spring packs and stuff like that. Uh, and then there's other ones that are just like called helper springs that you can either either stack them on top of your leaf springs and they can just kind of bolt to it. So you don't really have to take anything apart. They're easy to add on. Um, but a lot of people do that, especially if their springs are sagging or something like that, or they're going to carry a heavy load and stuff like that. So those are usually not too expensive. They're pretty easy to put on. The, the add leafs are a little tougher to put on, but the helper springs are pretty easy to put on. Um, but there are quite a few other options out there. The next one we're gonna talk about is the Timurans. They are basically um, rubberized springs that replace your bump stops underneath your, uh, where your uh, axle, before it makes contact with uh, you know other metal, there's these little rubber stops up there and these replace those. They hang down a little lower and they have different ratings so that as, as you put load on the truck, um, they kind of compress and, uh, and the more they compress, the more resistance you get. And, uh, they're supposed to be rated for a certain amount of weights or whatever. I think they have different kinds for different, uh, you know, weight settings and stuff like that, but they're pretty easy to install. You just take out the old, uh, bump stop and you put these things up in there and I will talk about how those, uh, affect your payload in just a little while. But along those lines are the... Sumo springs. They basically work the same way, except they're not made of rubber. They're made of uh, a polyurethane. And I think this is how those, those work is, I think they put like micro bubbles inside the polyurethane. And the more micro bubbles they put in there, the softer a ride it has, you know, but less weight it can carry. But the less bubbles they put in there and they're color coded to which ones um, have stronger. I think the yellow is the strongest. I think, uh, I forget there was like a, a red and a green, maybe or a blue, 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 I think is the lightest. I think yellow is the heaviest. I think red's the middle or something like that. Anyway, they, uh, same thing. They just replace the bump stop as the truck compresses, like your, your truck rides around normal. Um, same as the Timurans, uh, that until, and it, it doesn't make contact with your axle until it, it puts load on it. And then once it makes contact, it starts giving resistance. And those things are supposed to, as as the load increases, the more resistance it gives to help out your truck. Once again, we'll talk about how those affect your payload right at the end. We're gonna talk about one more thing and then we're gonna talk about payload. Airbags. Airbags are a little more complicated. They usually attach the axle and the frame of your truck and they're just little bags that you fill full of air and the more pounds you put in there, uh, the more resistance it has. And it, usually you have to install uh, an air tank to hold the air and an air compressor that fills it, the tank up. And then there's a, usually a button or switch or sometimes they're wireless or they, uh, you just activate it and it puts pressure in these airbags. And like you, you take like a, you know, you take a six inch circumference and you put 20 pounds of pressure per square inch on that six inches. That's almost a little over 500 pounds of pressure that would be pushing down on that. So if you have two of those, that's almost a thousand pounds. Um, but does it add a thousand pounds of payload capacity? That's what we're gonna talk about now. All right. When your truck rolls off of the assembly line, they slap a sticker on it right here. That is your payload number. Like this one is 3,082 pounds and you have a gross vehicle weight rating, which this one is, F-250 is 10,000 pounds. 
And what that means is this truck, no matter what you put on it, tongue weight, everything, people, all that stuff, can never weigh more than 10,000 pounds. And basically, the way they get that payload number is you have the gross vehicle weight rating, you have how much the truck weighs, and you subtract that, and what's left over is your payload. So, you know, whether it's people, your wife, your dog, your girlfriend, a cup of coffee, sunglasses, uh, fifth wheel hitch, tongue weight, uh, you know, a jet ski, whatever, anything pressing down on this truck or anything you put onto this vehicle after it just rolled off the assembly line takes away from your payload. So all these products that I just kind of talked to you about, not a single one of them add to your payload capacity. You cannot increase that. Those numbers are carved in stone. There's, um, you know, there's no way you can get around that. That is set. But what these things can do is maybe they can help you with ride stability. Maybe they'll help you with sway control. Uh, they might make it softer when you're carrying a load. Um, you know, especially the airbags that are adjustable and stuff like that. Like let's say you're sagging when you, when you put a trailer on, um, maybe it can help level out the ride. So they do have their uses, but the one thing they do not do is increase payload capacity. And none of them will say that on their websites either. They'll say it makes a ride better, nicer, uh, helps with vibrations, all that stuff. But none of them will say they increase your payload. And uh, matter of fact, this is where the catcher is. These things, every single one of these products take away from your payload. Because like I said before, Anything you add to your vehicle that then roll off the assembly line takes away from your payload. You put a aftermarket bumper, you know, a winch on the front, you have to subtract that from your payload. You put the timber ends on, uh, you have to subtract those from your payload. Um, anything that you add to your truck, you have to subtract to your payload. You can never exceed that uh, gross vehicle weight rating. And so that is just set in stone. I wanted to clear that up. I want to I hope you guys watched the end before you had a little fit in the comment section. I'm sure somebody will. <laughs> a lot of people don't watch the end and then they, they miss out. But that's very important. And this is the reason why I kind of had to feel like I had to make this video was I was watching a few other videos and people were saying this actually this couple said um, this in their video. <laughs> But it replaces the bump stop and it adds, it allows the, the uh, truck to carry more load, right? Yeah, please. So this, it allows the, the uh, truck to carry more load, right? Yeah, please. So this, it allows the, the uh, truck to carry more load, right? Yeah, please. So this They said you, you could add more load to your truck. The lady said it and then the husband, he, she turned to their husband and she said, yeah. And that is completely false. Granted, at the end of their video, they said, don't ever exceed your gross vehicle weight rating. But once again, they said that half, halfway through the video and then they saved that till the very end i don't want to hate on anybody or throw anybody under the bus but there's quite a few videos out there saying stuff like that so i just kind of want to correct the record and throw it out there um i know everybody's like well could can this f-250 probably hold more than three thousand pounds i'm sure it could but legally it can't um am i more liable if i was towing a fifth wheel that had you know, way more um, payload on the back of the truck than it can handle and got in an accident or got pulled over. Am I going to get a ticket? How much is the fines? Uh, you know, am, am I liable to get, you know, sued by somebody if we got in an accident and stuff like that? And my answer to that question is I don't ever want to find out and I don't think you do either. So that's my discussion about payload and all these things. Yeah, they may help you ride, but uh, there's tons of them out there. There's someone with like, really good information about, you know, the ride quality and how to help their, their vehicle and stuff like that. I don't have any information about that, but I do know they do lower your payload capacity because anything you put on that truck, it'll lower it. Thanks for joining me, guys. I hope this was, you know, helped you out, especially if you did not quite understand how payload works and stuff like that. So hit that subscribe button, notification bell, follow all of our adventures, especially if you're into trucks, travel, uh, RVs, camping, all that good stuff. Just uh, hit that subscribe button. And until we see you next time, guys, see you later.